Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely a line. Um, I thought it was frustrating. I thought I got fouled a couple times there in the second half on mid-range jump shots. And, I mean, it, it happens. Sometimes they get called, sometimes they don't. It is what it is. I think I settled a little bit too much for mid-range jump shots. But, um, like I said, I felt I got bumped a little bit. And I was honestly trying to shot pick them to get them to foul me. Um, but, I mean, I think I could have done a little bit better job controlling my own emotions, but I think it just started bad for us and then continued to snowball, and that's something we have to control a little bit better. Um, not only, like, did we not execute on the offensive end in the third quarter, but I thought they destroyed us offensively. Um, our defense wasn't very good, so uh, I think just improving in that area and just all kind of gathering our emotions a little bit better and finding better shots. Um, I thought we kind of stopped playing in a way that made us successful in the first half, so... Um, just a good learning opportunity for us. Um, I still I feel like we could have played a lot better, um, but yeah, I mean, I, th I think there's a line, and sometimes your your passion, your emotion can can get to you, but that's never any something I would ever, I would ever change, or anybody on our team would change. So, go Chloe and Christine. Yeah, Caitlin, you mentioned you know how everything started to snowball. Just what do you think you guys need to do to just stop the bleeding in that instance? Um, I mean, I think it starts defensively. I think get a stop. I mean, it's going to be hard to win a game when they outscore you by 17 points in a quarter. It's impressive that we got it back to one point. Um, and honestly, I thought we played really good in the fourth. And the, my turnover and transition is what I felt like really kind of ended the momentum for us. I think it was 78, 77. I got a block and a steal and we we're running in transition and honestly made just a really bad breed. Um, I thought the girl was going to come over. She never ended up, ended up coming over. So um i think defensively is where it has to start uh our first quarter defense was really good every quarter besides that was eh. third quarter was bad um so i think just continue to get better but we had moments especially to begin the fourth quarter too that were a lot better than other other two you know christine and brad yeah going back to the, the fourth quarter when you guys the crowd was going absolutely crazy as loud as i think i've heard it here <laughs> And you're hitting everything for both of you, Kelsey and Caitlin. Just can you describe that feeling as you're reeling them in, and all of a sudden you're down by only one point? Kelsey, you want to start? Uh, I think it's a it's a really amazing feeling when you when you when you a competitor and you have you know the city at your hands and feet and they supporting us. You know, win, lose, or draw, um, it just makes you go harder. Um, it makes you appreciate the moments a little bit more. Um, I think as a group, we appreciate the energy. Um, it's unspoken, but we appreciate it. We, we try to use that as fuel to kind of like get the next stop or get the next one. And I, I won't want any other way. I, I appreciate who our fans are and what they bring to the table for us. For real, it's appreciated. Go, Brad. Then we go, Matt. Kelsey, first quarter for you, for you guys. What did you like about the start? Strong start, pretty much here. First, first quarter, first half. Yeah, I think our start was pretty effective. I, th I thought it was a high-paced game. I, I thought C Square set us up um, from a PG standpoint to get us into that pace um, and play confidently in, in, in space and in pace. I mean, we were getting stops too, and I think that helped. But I always say the minute we stop getting stops, you see the fever kind of like tank or, you know, we kind of plummet. And I think that that's our max maturation. I think playing a team like Minnesota, that is our gauge. That's our standard. And I think that we can, can – Continue can get better from what you saw today based on um, those down the stretch, getting those stops and getting those um, next rebounds. we got to be better. And I think that's our next maturation defensively. You know, Matt, we Michael. Yeah, Kelsey, being a veteran uh, of this team, just what, what do you think you can learn the most um, from a loss like this, you know, after five wins, then lose, but, you know, you, you still have a lot of games left to play. Uh, I think that from a leadership standpoint, I think we hold, our, hold ourselves together as a group to say, you know, shut up and work, um, lead the rest out of it, obviously. Um, but get to the next play, get to the next, get to the next action, get to the next set. Use this as fuel for our next game. And um, as a leader, you want to make sure we kind of stay on a confidence and positive note. Uh, we've already seen what the results was tonight, so we use it, um, and then we go to the next page. We got Michael and Mario Jacob on the right again. Yeah, Caitlin, this is the only team you guys have lost to, uh, is Minnesota. Obviously, they're one of the top teams. Is there Are there things maybe you've learned specifically from playing this team in the two games that you guys, that can help you going forward? Yeah, I think, honestly, like, I think they're the hardest team to lead guard, probably. I think their movement is incredible. The way they play is incredible. It's how basketball should be played. Um, I think our matchup is so yeah, good for it's yeah, our matchup is just great for, for basketball too. Like if you want to watch two teams that play basketball the right way, it's this. Play up tempo, you share the ball, 
it's not sets all the time. Like they run great action. They run, run great ball screen stuff. They space the four. All five of them can shoot at all times. It's hard to guard, especially when they're running clear side pick and roll with feet. Like she demands so much attention and then you're stunting at, you're guarding three or four, you're guarding three three point shooters with two people. <laughs> There's only so much you can do. And Carlton makes us pay, especially there late. And we're tr closing out to her, doing our best. So um, I think for us, it's just, you gotta play a step ahead. You know what they're gonna do. You gotta be over there earlier. Um, and we had some possessions where we were really good, but at the same time, like, we gave up 34 points in the paint, and this is a team that loves the three point line. So we just, we gotta either make them shoot more threes, we gotta guard the paint a little bit better, but at the same time, we need to score in the paint more. Like, that's not an area that we did well tonight, is we have to beat them in points in the paint, and we can't tie with them. So, you know, last year, Jacob, I'll finish with Christine again. Kelsey, you just mentioned you guys needing to, to take another step. Do you, I mean, Minnesota's one of the top teams, maybe a, a playoff matchup for you guys. Do you kind of view this as all as like a, a measuring stick or maybe a level you guys need to get to now? Oh, definitely. I think that was just a conversation in our locker room um, amongst our vets, like Timmy and um, Katie Lou. Um, they definitely said that this is the standard. And I want to compete at that next level and be a part of a play playoff run, not just getting there, not just being a part of it, but, make, but making a run and making an impact. We'll have to use this as leverage um, and know that you know they're the best. And in order to beat the best, you have to compete every night. And I think they'll use the film um, on a positive note and keep on going forward. Christine, last one. Yeah, Caitlin, um, so the third quarter, as you were describing, you know, it's intense, and, and you went to the bench for a couple of minutes. Um, what are you doing mentally there to either calm down or, or get yourself back, uh, you know, fired up to then have the fourth quarter that you had? Yeah, I think just kind of reset. I think it felt from my standpoint that the, three, the third quarter kind of got away from us. Like, I looked at the clock, and there was only two minutes or left on the clock, and I think we had scored eight points. Um, so I felt like we just continued to not really execute. So I think just like get a quick breather, knowing that I'm going to need myself and to find a way to have a big fourth quarter for us. And then I thought we came out and really responded in the fourth quarter. So I think that is a positive to take away is we found a way to respond at the beginning of the fourth. Um, and our last three minutes of the game wasn't great. But, you know, if we limit everything in the third, like we're in a really good position to be successful in the fourth. So. Um, you know, I think I'm just happy our crowd, like they really got behind us and helped us. I don't know if we, if we don't have them, we probably don't even get back into it. So, um, it was a lot of fun to have them, but I think just kind of have a mental reset and get ready to play the fourth.